Hello everyone, hopefully all of you are doing well. A few days ago, a couple of photos and a very short video came out of Bangladesh's first ever indigenous drone. In this video, I will do a deep analysis of this drone. I will break down every aspect of its design and talk about what it is capable of and why it might make Bangladesh South Asia's most advanced drone manufacturer. Before starting, I want to clear something up. I have seen some low IQ people call the KX-2 a showpiece drone. This is completely untrue as there is footage of the drone taking off and flying during testing. So it is a fully functional drone unlike India's Motachoda drone. Now let's analyze the design. The KX-2 features a conventional airframe with a high-mounted straight wing and twin booms supporting the tailplane. This is an efficient setup for stability against strong winds. The body is likely made with composite materials to reduce weight and increase durability, but that cannot be confirmed at this moment. Using the people around it as a reference, I estimate that the KX-2's wingspan is between 3.5 and 4 meters. The KX-2 has a fixed tricycle landing gear, which means it's designed for runway takeoff and landing. This is very interesting because all military drones that are about the size of the KX-2 like the American RQ-7 Shadow or even slightly bigger drones like the Chinese CH-91 are all catapult launched. Catapult launching means that the drone itself is launched into the air with a catapult system. This system is much less complex and much more simple than runway takeoff and landing. Landing gears for runway takeoff and landing is something that is usually only seen in drones that are much much bigger than the KX-2. I will explain why this is important later on in the video. What was more surprising is that the KX-2 can carry weapons. On each wing there is a hardpoint giving it a total of two hardpoints. In the photos we see it carrying two 82mm mortar shells. Also what it is carrying in the pictures is not really important but I will explain that later on. What is more important is that this is the first time Bangladesh has ever made an aircraft that has hardpoints. In one of the photos, we can see a curious device mounted besides one of the hardpoints under the wing, possibly a sensor of some kind. There is also a small camera under the drone, but just like the mortar shells, this is likely a placeholder and isn't important. Now let's talk about the specifications. There is a specifications sheet on display, but this image is not very high resolution and no one decided to take an up close picture of the specifications sheet. Very helpful guys. Great job, I hope none of you ever get invited to any other BAF events ever again. Despite all of this, I have still managed to make out the specifications that are shown on the sheet. Cruise speed 120, probably kilometers but it might be a different metric. Altitude 5000 feet, endurance 4 hours, maximum takeoff weight 125 kilograms. Also the wingspan isn't listed here but it's probably around 3.5 to 4 meters. I mentioned it earlier in case you forgot. The range also is not mentioned here. But using the cruise speed and the endurance, we can make an estimate. If we multiply our values directly, we get 480 kilometers. But payload being carried, wind speeds, flight profile, etc. These sort of things will affect the range. So taking those variables into account, a more realistic estimate would be 400 to 450 kilometers. Now, I want to break down something that I have not seen anyone else talk about, the name. KX-2. The K isn't important as it is probably just a designation like how all American drones, their names start with the letter R. 
it might also be the initial of the team that worked on it. Regardless, the K is not important. What is interesting is the X and the 2. In military aviation, the letter X is almost always used in experimental aircraft. Some examples are Bell X-1, Grumman X-15, Boeing X-45, and the list goes on. So the X in KX-2 strongly suggests that this is an experimental drone that was made to test Bangladesh's drone technology, things like hardpoints, sensors, landing gears, etc., rather than a drone that will be mass-produced. Now, the 2 in KX-2 strongly suggests that this is not the first drone of this program. A KX-1 likely existed maybe as a tech demonstrator or prototype. Like It was likely much smaller than the KX-2, but this is all speculation. So if my hypothesis is correct, then it is very likely that a KX-3 drone is under development or planned to be developed. This would explain why Bangladesh decided to put hardpoints and a landing gear on a smaller drone like the KX-2. Because the KX-2 is an experimental drone, so they are using the KX-2 to test these new technologies that they have never worked with, so they can put it on a bigger drone, likely the KX-3. While it is unheard of, for drones the size of the KX-2 to have hardpoints and a fixed landing gear, these uh, features would be crucial for a bigger drone, maybe a male drone. So that is my personal hypothesis. Also, this also ties in with the fact that in 2024, there were rumors circulating that Bangladesh Air Force was developing three, specifically three drones in secrecy. The KX-2 is already a successful prototype, so if Bangladesh will develop a bigger, more advanced KX-3 drone, then this would make Bangladesh South Asia's most advanced drone manufacturer. And that is going to be it for this video. If you guys want me to make a video about what this KX-3 drone would probably look like or what I think should look like, what I want to see in this KX-3 drone, then leave a comment. If enough of you ask for it, I will make that video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support my work, consider liking the video and leaving a comment. And if you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing. I appreciate all the support everyone has shown me so far. And thank you for watching the video till the end.